You got set up like you're doing a podcast in here. I'm a YouTuber. Yeah. Right. I, I cover uh, Tesla's self-driving. Cool. And how customers react to it. I mean, it hasn't been the best day given all the rain. Yeah. It makes the system kind of nerf itself because it limits the speed and constantly yeah. throws little warnings like beep, 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 bad uh -huh. weather. <laughs> yeah. Does the temperature feel all right? Yeah, I'm good. Cool. Thanks. Why? Why are you doing that? It's one of the little wonky things about the self-driving. For some reason, it's like, yeah, let me get into this left turn lane and go around this car in front of me. Hmm. <laughs> no. How about yeah, you just... Yeah, because you got to make immediate wait. right to get on the freeway. Yeah, yeah. In, in my testing and my data collection when I present it on the channel, I, I call that staging issues. Yeah. Where it's got the nav route, it needs to stick to the sensible route versus... Right. Potentially missing a turn. Generally, staging's not been a problem. All right, Prius. Jeez. <laughs> Humans are a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Happened to me last night, too. The person just did not know how to like, color in their line going right. around the corner or coming into my lane. I was like, dude, come on. So, you, will the car adjust itself if that car gets too close to it? It will. Um, I'm I'm used to just preventatively taking over to minimize the discomfort yeah. to my passengers. Sure, I got I'm you. not trying to yeah. make it an uncomfortable ride. When I'm by myself, I'm more prone to let it try riskier stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I've got almost 2,000 hours operating the system, so I'm really well in tune to its, quonk, or its yeah. quirks and wonkiness. Which is the only reason that I'm confident to use it with actual people because yeah. it's basically just cruise control with a personality yeah right exactly but all this rain's definitely uh made it a challenge it, i mean it operates fine it just gets extra paranoid now was there a recall on it recently there's been some quote-unquote recalls yeah. that I mean, it's, it's a misnomer, if you ask me, because yeah. the vehicles don't have to go back to the dealership. They just get a software update. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so basically it just flashes to the car. Most of it's been around um, increased NHTSA regulation on stop sign behavior, yeah. which has made stop signs in these really painful now. Because yeah. it, it'll have to stop for like a solid two to three seconds, which has the person behind you honking. Uh. There are... Uh, some loud folks in the media that are very much against Tesla and the self-driving or even calling it FSD. Yeah. So there's no lacking for pressure, but Tesla works really close with NHTSA, yeah. with regulators to try to push the system forward because it'll be a game changer. It'll save lives, it'll reduce traffic. Gotcha. There haven't been any uh, Serious safety recalls, though. That's good. I'm a bit out of date personally because I don't have the latest version 12 software, but yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, it's actually limiting my speed to 65 miles an hour right now. Will it uh, adjust for road conditions too? Yeah, that's actually currently what it's doing. It won't let yeah. me uh, tick the speed above 65 miles an hour. Gotcha. Which, admittedly, no one's really going much faster than that. Yeah. It's not too bad. It was a little bit more free to speed up. Uh, that might be part of the latest sort of update recall. One of the big things that happened with the recent updates is a, a more, so behind this little black piece here is a, is a camera that's watching me. Okay. And it'll yell at me really fast if I'm looking away too long or distracted or I have my phone up. It's like, pay attention and it beeps at you. Oh, yeah. And well, that's gotten a lot more sensitive. Really? The second you turn it on, if you're not already eyes forward, it'll just immediately hit you with a pay attention. And you're like, whoa, oh, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? I guess it's kind of good because it, we've all seen the videos of the people that are falling asleep. And, yeah. You know. It's because of those folks that we, you know, we get the phrase, this yep. is why we can't have nice things. Right. You know, and it, it ruins it for everyone else. Always. Yeah. I also am of the mind where no mercy for those people. I think people who are abusing the system honestly shouldn't have a license, let yeah. alone the the privilege which I mean even driving itself is a privilege a lot of people think it's a right right it's not it's a right. privilege you have that can be taken away yep and the amount of people that abuse it 
Yeah. There'd be a lot less people driving their cars if that was the case. That's true. Probably one of the most experienced FSD testers there is, and I'll be the first one to smack anyone on the wrist who's yeah. playing around with the system or talks about doing their emails while they're on the road. I'm <laughs> right. Why? <laughs> We've even seen the cars, the videos where the car says, like, no driver in the driver's seat. Yeah, there was how a that, how that happened. There was a media publication that basically recreated that and showed people how to at the time defeat the system. Yeah, you had to do specific things to make the system think there was somebody in the driver's seat. Uh -huh. um, and they cracked down on that too. Yeah. But there's there's now uh, for a while people were using, and I think some still are. They're getting better at blocking these, but these defeat devices that would add a weight to the wheel, uh -huh. which would make it simulate when it asks you to touch the wheel. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and even that. It's like, God, it's just you're inviting the possibility for you to get more and more complacent. Uh -huh. And as good as the system is, if you, even if you just took the skill of the system away uh -huh. and you factored in the human error around you, uh -huh. we're not at a point yet where you should be clicking it and forgetting it. Right, right, right. Eventually we'll get there. Right. But respect the process, right? That's right. And the safety of those around you. I would, I would probably... Uh, if I saw somebody asleep in their Tesla, I know how to stop it. I would get in front of the car and slow down yeah. and bring it to a stop and call the authorities. Because wow. there have been some cases where that person's not asleep. They had a stroke. Sure. Um, yeah. There have been very few. It's a very rare, extenuous case. But yeah. there have been a couple either drunk, passed out, and the police were able to stop the car by bringing it to a stop because yeah. it'll respond. So it's easy to catch somebody. Yeah. If you know how, just get in front of the car and slow down. They would either have to have a defeat device on the wheel or have fallen asleep with their hand on it. Uh -huh. Otherwise, the system would eventually yell and then start coming to a stop itself. Uh -huh. It has that built in. But, yeah, to your point, there's, there's always people abusing it. Yeah. Even as much time as I have on it, I'm always on edge. Like, see, now it needs to get over. It's taking too long. Okay, there we go corrected itself but that was kind of sloppy that was that wasn't the best lane staging we had a really fantastic build um toward the beginning of last year i want to say I don't know, time's kind of messed or melted away from me but 11.4.2 as the software branch it was able to handle like 93 percent success on everything overall so like 93 percent of customer trips i wouldn't have to do anything to get involved huh. which was insane i mean that's over nine out of ten trips were good now it's quite a bit reduced probably closer to 50 percent huh. and it's annoying i mean a lot of that's because of the way they've had to change things for regulation's sake or yeah tweak the programming and again now very select few people at least one that i know of for sure has version 12 which is a full end-to-end -end neural net like a true uh -huh. AI and we're all just waiting for that so it's in beta right now yeah yeah it's it's all been in beta for a long time yeah this next version 12 is where there's the claim that it'll be out of beta uh -huh. I think maybe some version of 12 maybe yeah. but if you're being realistic no it, it's it's not gonna be fixed overnight this has been a very difficult problem to solve because every time you think you've got this, the problem yeah. uh, resolved, you bump into what's been termed a new glass ceiling. Like uh, a new, yeah. like, oh, wait, nope, the limit was just raised a little bit, but we haven't solved it. Yeah. Sorry to talk your ear off. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's interesting. I appreciate it. But yeah. It's definitely been fun to engage with customers on this sort of thing. Definitely shows that you know we're not decades away. No, I mean a couple I'm, years away, but not. Like it'll be this lifetime for sure. I'm an '80s kid. We're, we grew up with the Jetsons, and we all thought that was like five years away. You know? <laughs> all right, yeah, the flying cars. Yeah. Yep. And to think we're still not there, but I'm actually pretty grateful we don't have flying cars. To be honest. Yeah. People can't handle driving. Right. Right. I mean, they would all have to be autonomous. Yeah. There's no way you would let. All these Californians start flying in their own cars. Yeah. <laughs> I 
worked for Uber at their corporate office uh, before the pandemic, and uh, we had an autonomous division that was just for flying cars, and oh, wow. they were heavy into the development of it, and then the pandemic just shut that whole department down, Dang. and it never recovered. The guy that was the mastermind of the whole thing went to go work for some European company on it, but Uber was getting close. They already had uh, filed uh, um, whatever paperwork they needed for it with the FAA to have the, the certain flight level oh, wow. owned by them. Yeah, and, that uh, is pretty impressive. Yeah. Just right up here? Yep, we're good here. Yeah. All right. We're going to get out of people's way a little bit. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was fun to out with you. <laughs> yeah, There's you. The, top the top button top there. One, yeah, sorry. perfect. All right. Have a good one. All right, there we go. We got our first actual like customer interaction on FSD a little bit more of your classic FSD customer reaction video um, I hope you guys enjoyed that I am trying to get a lot more the rain is making it tough but I'm doing what I can trying to stay busy trying to keep the channel moving but I think I'll be able to, to squeeze this out <clears throat> I think I'll be able to squeeze this out today Friday um, and keep up with that three videos a week and keep chucking on so Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I will catch you in the next video.